Summertime is when there's so much great produce to cook with, but sometimes we lack the motivation to cook because we're kind of lazy. But I've got all lazy day French recipes. I'm making a marinated beef dish called basil beef with just boiled potatoes on the side, a glorious ratatouille, all bright summer colors, using Provencal vegetables, aioli mayonnaise for dipping artichoke hearts fried golden, and lemonade. I'll be right there. Lazy day, and I have very lazy food. I need boiling water for potatoes. I'm making a basil beef, beef sliced thinly in a marinade with lemon zest and basil and olive oil. I have a beautiful tenderloin, very cute. So, heat, and a little oil, and I'm just going to sear the outside. So that's nice and hot, seconds on each side. I like this to be very rare. If you like it to be really cooked, then do it in the oven and just do it for a say 15 minutes or 20, and then it will be more cooked. Okay, that's it. Three minutes work. I want a little marinade, which is so easy. A cup of olive oil, lemons. You know, you think of beef as kind of on the heavy side for a hot day, but this really lightens it up. The other thing I want a lot of is basil, because it's called basil beef. Just shredding it. Lots of pepper, I'm putting it on the fat grind. That's that. Now my meat, right here. I want really super duper thin flags of meat. String is not an ingredient. You have to let the meat rest before you cut it because the juices are all in the inside and you want them to flow back out to the edges. And we'll meet again. Come over, come over, and we'll meet again. Now for assembly. All the meat goes into a flat dish. And then pour this lovely lemony, basil-y, peppery, olive -y marinade over top. And a little fleur de sel. You can add more later, but voila. It's good. And toss it all around so that each piece is covered. And then you can turn it once or twice when it's in the fridge. Just cover it and let it sit for a while. You can flip it at half time. It'll taste better the longer you leave it. Now, to go with the beef, these are cute tiny potatoes, already clean. Here's how hard they are to cook. And I'm simply going to boil them. Don't fall, don't. Doesn't get more straightforward than that. This is just olive oil. Again, nice fat grounds of pepper. And fleur de sel. Just 
just toss them around a bit. Great lunch too, summer lunch. To spoon some of this beautiful lemon oil on top. Mmm, so lemony. Very fruity, very light, and it just feels almost silken on your tongue. Next I'm making ratatouille the laziest way I know how. I'm so happy I got that swing installed, because I've been wanting one ever since I was little. And I had a poem too. How I do like to go up in the swing, up in the air so high. A lazy summer day makes you really hungry for vegetables, doesn't it? And I have a really lazy ratatouille. A glorious ratatouille, a celebration of Provencal vegetables. I've been broiling these peppers, eek! It happens in stages. I'm not cooking the peppers, I just did these quickly because I want to get the skins off and this is how you do it. Once they're nice and blackened, you just put them in a bowl and then you cover them and it just steams the skins loose. The nice thing about ratatouille is that, I mean these vegetables are fine, but you know when they start to get a little overripe and you don't know what to do with them? Well, a ratatouille is a perfect thing because it's such a kind of soupy jumble of vegetables that no one will notice if they're slightly overripe. And it will taste delicious and very sweet. Now, these eggplants, salting them will take out some of that excess water. I set these right on these cake racks in the sink. And then you just need salt. This will draw the water out. Scatter it over top. Leave them for like half an hour or so. Next, little zucchini. These I'm going to cut into chunks. Spilling those onto a sheet. And then olive oil. And then splish them around. These go. The skins can come off these cheerful looking peppers. And then just cut these into, you know, quite fat julienne strips. Pretty bowl. All the pretty peppers in the bowl. See how all the water rises to the top of the, the eggplant? So then you rinse them off because otherwise it would be obviously very salty. Now these, just cut in six or eight kind of chunks you think are about right. I can go right off into the peppers. Next, eggplant. And the same routine. Salt, pepper, oil. And now in those go. Now, here's how I do the rest of it. What holds all those independent vegetables together? The social glue is tomatoes. A couple of onions, garlic. So the first thing, 
some onions. Now some garlic. I'm just using two cloves. Now the tomatoes, take out the seeds. And not because I'm trying to be fancy, because I don't like it really soupy and the seeds have too much liquid for my taste. Okay, once the onions are soft, then the garlic can go in. And I always add a couple of bay leaves. And I add some chili pepper. And then in with all these tomatoes. And a little rosemary. Now that's nicely cooked down, really thick. Nice roasted eggplant. And it just gets all chucked in the bowl all together. And then just stir it together. And you get a very bright, summery, flavorful. Mm -hmm. How can you not like that? It's so good, and I love the little hint of heat. Next, I'm making artichokes with a roasted garlic aioli for dipping. Putter, putter, putter. I'm just having a lazy day of doing whatever I want and cooking the same way. I'm making a little snack of fried artichokes with roasted garlic aioli. I've had garlic roasting in here for an hour. And it makes the best mayonnaise for dipping. Look at that. Golden and squishy. Okay, mayonnaise. You need a yolk. Teaspoon of vinegar. Mustard. Dijon, of course. Whisk that together. Now I might as well just add a little pinch of salt here. Quaver. And I would like to use grapeseed oil because sometimes olive oil is just too bitter. You just add a drop at first to get everything emulsified. All right, and now, this beautiful roasted garlic. Come over, come over, and we'll meet again. Come over, come over, and we'll meet again. And just beat that into the mayonnaise. Just a little lemon. Now you can play around with acidity and salt, just to get the balance right. Perfect. So it's thick and it's quite rustic because it's got bits of garlic in there. But if you could taste it, you'd know why I don't mind.
Now for the dippables. Small artichokes, you can use uh, the poivrade artichokes, which are tinier than this, or it doesn't really matter what you use because they get trimmed anyway. Just pulling off the bottom leaves. Trim the stem. As you go, you have to rub with lemon or it turns brown. And pull all the tough leaves off. You need to drop these in acidulated water. Here's how you acidulate water. And then just keep them in there so that they don't turn brown. My water. Very demanding. I'm going to put this lemon in here too. Keep the water nice and acidic. And in go my bottoms of artichokes. And then just boil until they're tender. You just turn them upside down and poke them in the butts. When they slide off, they're ready to go. Okay, those are done. Oop. Yow. Better. Now, these could be called done, but I'm not done with them just yet. I want them a little crunchy and golden. They have a bit of choke. I'm going to clean them up too. The choke is that fuzzy bit in the middle. It's kind of hairy stuff, so you don't eat that. Now, I just want to fry them so they get nice and crisp and golden. Olive oil. And then your little arty choke hearts. Just go right into the oil. Golden brown. And crunchy. A little stir to sell. And now with the warmth of the roasted garlic, Crunchy outside, right into the heart. Mmm. Can never get enough homemade mayonnaise. But I happen to know that they'll taste way better on my swing. And then I know I'm going to be dying for lemonade. I think as soon as there's a hot day, when you don't really feel like cooking, the first thing you should do is make lemon syrup so you can have lemonade ever at the ready. There's nothing to it. Two cups of sugar. Two cups of water. zest of two lemons, which you can just take off with a vegetable peeler. And then just slice them into thin strips. This is really more for visual appeal than anything. Think of it, some of the best lemon taste is in the peels. So if you want really great lemonade, why not get it out of them? So just drop all the peelings into the pot. And bring it to a boil for five minutes. You're not reducing it or anything, just dissolving the sugar.
so lemony and nice and cool. So now it's safe to put in a jar without breaking the jar. You just take about two tablespoons of syrup, which is lemony and sweet, ice, a sprig of mint, and the juice of one of these. And then you just need cold water. Cheers. Mmm. Very nice. Super lemony, not too sweet, and it has a little je ne sais quoi. I've made basil beef, which is tender shaved beef marinated in basil and lemon zest olive oil, a glorious ratatouille, a celebration of Provencal vegetables, fried artichoke hearts with roasted garlic aioli, and for lazy afternoons, lemon zest syrup that makes lemonade extra quick. Lazy cooking means there's more time for swinging.